<sighs> no power drop or no power force brain freeze. GG, if that was you, Bear. I'm not first picking Cradle. You could first pick Fractured Identity if you really want to. The real Kenji first pick is just taking the vent. Nah, I like to avoid aggro decks usually. I like to dirtle. Unless we don't want to think. Sometimes it's good to think to turn off the brain and just first pick the Adanto. The Kuya! Thanks for gifting a subby. I think the correct pick is probably Fractured. I'll just go with it. This is still such a funny include to me. <laughs> like, why Crystalline Giant? The weird one. Eh, fracture into Narset. I don't want to do this again, do I? Here I go again. You know what? I'm going to take Exhum. I want to do some reanimator, and it's always open. And if we don't reanimate her, we can backdoor storm. We'll do it the inverse. Usually it's storm, backdoor, reanimator. We'll backdoor storm with the reanimator. I think Call of the Ring is generally pretty bad in this cube, too. Or rather, just a weird include. Can't go wrong with Force of Negation. Storm lost Oracle. Oh, oh, Thassa's? I think Thassa's has actually ha uh, been cut for one or two iterations. Talisman looking pretty good. Rona's really good for Reanimator. We could Oath, definitely. Dismember's always safe. Talisman, again. Oh, boy, two different Talismans. That's what I mean. Both these Talismans are fantastic. We're going to take the Talisman of Progress and probably end up wheeling one of these. A lot of people don't like Rona still. Witch Claude! Bobo Drew, thanks for the 14 months, Sebi! If I draft again today... Um... Whoa, they added Mastery! Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's gonna be like the one red storm card that gets me all hyped and hot and bothered. As I was saying, here's another really weird include, and I think it's just because they needed a card from this set. They needed a card from March of the Machine. They're just like, ah, throw in that big flyer. I should probably just be taking, like, subtlety here, but whatever, I'm a fish. That's a nice pack. Damn. Damn. I'm going to take something and wheel something. Helm for Storm is spicy, so I take, like... Petal, Volcanic, or Prism, and wield the Helm. Casting Volcanic is so troll. Solitude is definitely OP, so is Fury. But Solitude's a white card. Fractured Identity's not actually a white card. You know what, I'm going to take the Petal here. It's an 8th pick Jack, and I want just the Talisman. Sigh. I don't mind taking more talismans. We're just going to end up in another artifact deck, aren't I? Ooh, mortality is really good too. You know, this does discard a card with the blood token. It ain't garbage for reanimate. And oftentimes, if you're a reanimator, you're playing red for like sneak attack or something. Seven's Reclamation is really good. Screw you, Bob. I will say Oath is awkward with Battle Sphere, but. We have two? Oh no, one green talisman? Did I not get the. What was it supposed to come back? Somebody took the Helm of Awakening? Or is it last pick? Maybe it's last pick. Womp womp. Power! I would like to have power here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, new card, new card. Oh wait, no, this is a this is a super old reprint, isn't it? This is like from I don't even remember when, but this is old. Ice Age, that's it. Yeah, I do recall. Anyways, there's obviously nothing to stay here. 
there are a lot of cards I would like to wheel. Seal is great, Tutor is great, Abrade is fine, Watery Grave is great. There's Animate Dead. Alright, we'll just lock in the Reanimator and maybe Splash Oath, maybe Splash Fractured. So green-white's pretty bad here. Yep, 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 very easy. All right, we're done. Need a couple ways to discard a card, but we're done. Oh man, Fire Covenant and EDH. That's kind of spicy. Just eating straight almond butter? That's got to be extremely caloric. Oh, all right. We have the two best ways. We have reanimate and animate dead. Now we just need to find Entomb. We're probably going to wield a Bazaar. I guess I'd probably play it if we have this much good reanimate. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> Sneak attack, DAC, counter spell. Nice pack. DAC's just really, really good. Steals pesky artifacts and is a graveyard enabler. Since I already have, like, three really good reanimate effects, I don't think I need the sneak. I'd rather splash the D. I'm going to take Sphinx for a sideboard, or, uh, yeah, a sideboard reanimate target over Itali. Just a lot safer. This does technically discard, but I don't want it. This is technically kind of reanimate-ish, but no, we also don't want that. Oh, this pack's just bad, dude. Maybe there's a world where I play the workshop, but most likely not. Whisper, Thirst, Titan is a good reanimate. Uh, if you're on the draw and you go turn two Knight's Whisper without another spell, that makes you discard. So, Currently, my blue cards are really bad because of the lack of fixing. This was the Watery Grave pack. I'm not surprised to see it go. I mean, Imperial Seal is really good, but... We will need pack 3 to give us a bit of help because, it, you know, if, like, no joke, I will just cut these blue cards here. Like, throw in the Harvester instead and focus on um, heavy, heavy black with just a minor splash. Red just for Harvester? No, and for deck. It goes the cube, it goes well. Swell and super well. It's whatever. I'm taking Bizarro over Thief. Very easy, and this is a spell. Push is a great wheel. Don't want to play against Thalia's. Best two drop in red, nobody's playing red. Necromancy. We don't need that. We're going to take Poff here. Oh, or Badland. That's actually kind of tough. Nope, I'm taking the Poff, actually. I'm only at like 16-ish, 15-ish playables. We don't need to be splashing too much. You don't need fixing if you have a bunch of tutors. Meyer, Isle... This is fine. I'd rather have the tutors here. I think Monolith is really good. But, that being said, I don't think it's necessarily good in this deck. I'm debating if I even need to take the fixing, though. Like, what if we just go like this? I think our deck would be good. I need playables, like Bowmaster's insane. No, this is nice. I like my strat. Believe in me. This went from 3-0 to 2-1? Why? This deck still looks amazing. Death is another reanimate effect. Um, but I don't mind having one more nice one. Zagoth. Dothy. Dothy's also insane. You might not like it, chat, but fixing's overrated. I'm going to put the uh, Sphinx to the sideboard, and we can bring that in versus aggro. 
I told you, reanimator's always open. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, a dark ritual would be amazing in this deck. This pack is actually really bad for us. I might still play Cabal Ritual as a bad ritual, but... I'm a little bit tempted to also take the Wheel of Fortune. No, I, even if I take the Force of Will, I don't have enough blue cards to play it. Like, I'm going to wheel the Cabal Ritual anyways. Easy chart. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. I need playable, so I need to take the uh, Prowler. Mom, I'm doing it right now! Yeah, we've got a special video going up on YouTube today. If you caught LSV's video that went live today, you'll know what I'm talking about. Not taking tar pits feels like a troll. Look at my playable count. I'm still short three or something. Necromancy, Exhume, Animate, Dead, Reanimate, we passed Recurring Nightmare, what else? Life and Death. I mean... <laughs> uh, it's just all there, chat. I think Recurring Nightmare is actually not very good in our deck. I have Urtai. Oh, I could play the Urtai. Wait, oh yeah, I have Urtai. I can play Urtai, that's fine. Life and Death is my worst of the reanimates, so we can just cut that, I think. Nah, look, look, Recurring Nightmare is really good, but this is not the deck for it. Bro, hard cast? Hard cast Sphinx, possibly, because of that scrub? This game's too easy. I don't even need that many black sources here. Yeah. It's fine. I've got Bizarre. We have our worst of the uh, reanimate effects, though, or rather the most expensive. Oh, come on! Uh, it was all fun and games until the opponent played a turn to rabble off of Lotus. F. Lutz, Lutz, Lutz. I'm going to go for high roll. Chat, sometimes it's okay to high roll. I hope they have a white removal spell for their sake, but actually, no. Tell me, is Sphinx good versus basically mono red? I mean, nice Black Lotus, by the way. <laughs> to be fair, any of our hits probably won, right? Three of our four reanimate targets are huge flying lifelinkers. So, this is a little bit sketchy. I might be vamping for Bazaar. Turn one looting. Oh, interesting. You don't see that every day. They must have a land heavy hand or a land shallow hand. Land shy hand. 
showdown and turn two magda discarded <laughs> what one sec all right uh let's see i vamp down to six draw seven land six knights whisper seven God, our deck would be so sick if we had, uh... In two minutes. I guess I might just grab Bazaar. Hi, Rola. That ain't a high roll. Come on. Okay. Go to 10. Gonna need a chump chump here. Go to 8 is probably safest. Did it all go wrong? I can trigger my fatal push here, but I don't think that's actually good. I can't really afford to use all of my reanimate effects, though, obviously. I'm debating if I want to pitch the Shallow Grave or the Exhume. I guess the Exhume is okay, because if I hit a fatty... Yeah, let's pitch Shallow Grave, Island, Island. That is not a great play for OP. That might have just saved us. Bowmasters are going to bow. Lotus discarded. I repeat. Lotus in the garbage. <laughs> oh god I don't think I I mean if I keep the imperial it's just not good enough Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to four. Wait, she doesn't have menace. Do oh, she does. Derp. Same thing, I guess. Doesn't matter which one I block then. Holy smokes. Are those all of my reanimate effects? 
I don't think I have any reanimate left. I'm debating if I even want to run out the Prowler here. But I guess... No, I can't. I just have to hope they don't draw any burn. Ah, oh, that'll do her. Very strange game. Wow, there what wow. How many cards until a fatty? They were all on the bottom like seven or eight. Sheesh. How many were down there? Four? My god, that just seems a little bit unlucky. Um oh you know what? This trespasser is actually good versus them too. I guess we don't need the Dothy. If you didn't get a sticker, message support, and they will get it to you. There was an issue last week, so. Contact support. You don't need to do anything else. They'll just send it to you. Oh my god. I feel like we have been extremely low rolling these draws. Okay, well, hitting Bizarre is good. Okay, white. Path, Jesus. There's the, there's the white. Ay ay ay. Not even a creature in the graveyard to eat. Yeah, this feels like a match we probably shouldn't lose pretty very often, but we're probably going to lose this one. Oh man. That's magic, baby. Two lands are left in the deck, no joke. What's up, Zant with Ranch? Thanks for the 21 month subby. Took my brutality. All right, exhume on top. I go to one here if they want to. Stack all their mountains. Fire blast me. I guess they're probably going to pump up their robber and instead of... Uh... Yeah, 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 instead of hitting me for one extra. <sighs> Artifact, enchantment, instant, sorcery, creature. We aren't dead. Instant, artifact, land. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Can we fade one more time? Their Lotus is gone, at least. Hold! Bomey. Oh, that's fine. Now I get to eat their scrap and give me an extra life. Bad draws, but we still got there, baby. Yeah, I mean, I'm the best in the world, chat. From low roll to extreme high roll. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this doubles as a creature and an artifact. Instant. Land. I guess exhume over shallow grave. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, maybe I should have just taken the uh, Shallow Grave since Fop is very unlikely to be cast here. I could actually lose because I discard Sphinx. Imagine they're also on Reanimator and they go Swamp, Reanimate my Sphinx, and then I'm just like, what? <laughs> In fact, that's probably one of the few ways I can lose, right? So I probably should just pitch something else since I already have a way to discard again. Theirs has protection from mine, and it's vigilant. It's not a standoff, because there has protection. Alright, I can get behind that play. Man, even just Dark Ritual would be so insane in this deck. I mean, Blue-White's gonna have ways to deal with things like this. Yeah, Oust works. Um, kinda? I can't remember, I don't have any hand disruption, do I? I have Collective Brutality. Um, I guess I don't even need to do anything here. You got me. Now 
Necromancy, reanimate, exhume. Ooh, juicy. I think I could very easily have another answer. My targets for reanimate aren't even that good right now. I mean, Atraxa will draw a bunch of cards, but... I'm guessing I'm just going to go land Dothy this next turn. Yeah. And if they're counterspelling Dothy... Well, I guess they kind of have to counterspell the Dothy, don't they? Otherwise, if they counterspell something else, I'm going to get the counterspell. Also, it's a three-turn unblockable clock. I think my plan here is to pass. See what they do. That's fine. Oh, I can't even do that anymore. Whoops, I was supposed to do it in response after, but before it resolved. That's my fault. God, I wonder if I'm just supposed to get, like, Battle Sphere. What does Atraxa even grab? Like, if they just have a removal spell for Atraxa, I can't really win anymore. I'm actually out of ways to reanimate now. But I guess Atraxa is still a draw a million. If they have days, they get me. All right. Oh, we have Bowmasters too, right? Creature, Sorcery, Instant, Land. One, two, three, four. Hey, let's go! I wonder if I need to bring in an extra reanimate versus them. That Urtai, I think is fine. Eh, force negation too hard. Well, we're playing Bazaar as a spell, so. Somebody was wondering earlier why we're running 18 lands. It's because Bazaar is not a land. I don't really mind if they spell pierce this or whatever. Obviously, if I had a fatty in my hand, I would not play out the pedal. People with these cheaty mocks while I'm over here with pedal. Feels bad, dude. Hey. Hello? Once again, if my four fatties are on the bottom eight cards of my deck, I'm going to be pretty upset. I also don't have any more card draw effects. Not ideal. Uh -huh. In hand, chat. I can pay for Pierce. So, big issue here of me using this brutality is now if I draw a fatty, I cannot pitch it. This might not even be the right play. In fact, I bet you it's probably not the right play. I regret everything. Da 
damn it and they drew the blue source off the top come on man all right it's like bizarre that we need to draw Return clock here. Ooh. Save me. Save me. We have days, but Grizzle Brand's grave is very shallow. <laughs> Shake my hand. I think this is right. Our bazaar's tapped for a turn. That hand is actually kind of tempting. I think I'm going to keep this. But I'm just going to go land past turn one. I'm going to wait to seal until what... Uh, I'm going to wait to seal until I see what I draw with my wisp. You know? Always give the carrots. So that they might see your cards better. And cry when they lose. Another blue deck, eh? Huh. They must have a card they can play already. No, just maybe their reanimator? Oh, there's Storm? Mm. Oh, God, that's really bad. I'm going to play out the pedal then in case they go for like a weird twister effect. I would guess Sphinx is probably our worst of the reanimates versus them. It's the slowest clock. Okay. I don't know. That Cabal Ritual is... I mean, maybe I should have just foffed main phase. Maybe I get punished now by not uh, foffing while they were tapped out there. I know I'm not drawing cards with it, but now they have open blue. Good pile by them. I guess I'm going to grab Animate Dead because I can play around a uh, Mana Leak that way. And I don't want to pay a bunch of life. They had it! Oh my god. Uh, well. That's unfortunate. I guess I lose. Quite unfortunate. I mean, we can still see what more of their deck is. I don't really care if they know I have a push. Granted, if I just draw some irrelevant card, of course I'll concede. So I'm guessing they're also not just running this as a value animate. I'm sure they also have um, reanimate targets. Oh, right, right, right. I put my animate dead on top. Uh, 
Right, 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 right. Um, animate Fury, kill this. All right, you got me. The only thing that could beat us, chat, was ourselves. So it's going to be important to not pitch something unless I can also reanimate, reanimate it that same turn, you know? Actually, I still had Urtai to draw too, potentially. No, nope, we still don't want Fracture. What's up, Twister QL? Thanks for the Prime Zubi. Jake, the four things with the 26 months. The awkward thing about running the Prowler is that we give them a free discard outlet. So, I probably just Whisper on turn two here. It's also possible I should have just Mulligan this hand. I cut no oh no I cut the uh cloth. Fair. Oh, this is actually a kind of awkward turn. If this was any of the other reanimate effects, it would have been a lot better here. I take quite a bit of damage this turn. Yeah, this is just full on mirror match. Yo, Keon Lee! Thanks for the fat biddies! All right, I'm going to go ahead and pitch it all. <laughs> nice. So they conceded there because the Bowmaster was underneath the Dothy. So them going for Wheel of Fortune was just actively garbage. All right. Uh, one more time for the back-to-back -back champion. Can he do it? Anybody else got two trophies yet? No, this would be for world first. Oh, also, yes, I took their reanimate. Der Everett! Thanks for the 92 months of me! I, I don't think I can put in double cards. I mean, if any of them, I'd bring in Force instead of Narset. Yeah, I can see cutting Una, Una because that gives them a discard as well. But it's so hard to cast this. It's probably still not good. No, I think we just keep our nut draw potentials. Let's just do what we did in that other game where we have Bizarre, Petal, and Nonsense. See, this is a keep, but it's really awkward. A lot of, a lot of matches, you would just go turn one, draw, and discard. Oh, they have Brutality? Sure. Oh, for some reason, it, it looked like it was just minus two, minus two that had highlighted Good news is we have a lot of redundancy. Uh, there's only one piece of redundancy we don't have that they can hit here. And that is indeed the brutality. Alright, island off the top, easy. The thing is, uh, I really don't know if I can... If I can uh, Ancestral discard a fatty here. That seems wrong, right? I could Ancestral main phase and just discard a non-creature. I don't have too many things I can do with one mana. I could pedal or I could vamp, basically. So, I think I might just pass here. I 
ancestral them in response. LOL, 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 LOL. Well, We're likely to draw a Tudor or a reanimate effect, yeah. No, it's not good to actually do that to them since they also have reanimator and whatnot. Uh, shallow graves gone, so it doesn't matter the order there. Wow, some really bad hits. No, there's no need to seal before reanimate. Because if I brick, I can just seal for whatever I wanted anyways. You know, I kind of want to get the uh, Trespasser here too. I don't think we need the Grizzle Brand. Um... I think Urtai here might be the safest of the plays for us. Yep, that's what I'm thinking too, Urtai. I can't stop re their reanimator because they are untapped and I can't do anything this turn anyways. So if they have reanimate, they get to reanimate right now before I have a chance. That's a good sign for us if they're starting with a card draw effect when they just wield. My battle sphere is in the graveyard. Yep, this is Modo. Oh, maybe that's why they Cabal Rich, or that's what maybe, they, yeah. Lily, Sack, Reanimate. Jesus. That's going to be the play, isn't it? Yeah, that's totally what's happening here. Oh, they don't have it. Oh. Uh, no, they had two mana floating. One, two, three. I only have Necromancy left. No, wait, I have Necromancy and Reanimate proper. I have two Reanimate effects left. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. I don't think I want to draw the Urtai. Well, rather, I can draw the Urtai by reanimating Atraxa. <laughs> Instant creature sorcery land. Artifact. I know. That's what I was hoping to hit pedal. Crazy game, chat. We're on Magic Online. This is Vintage Cube. It is now up since this morning. I think I like discarding the push. They didn't discard a fat. I don't know if I expect Atraxa to survive this turn as well, but... Yeah... I mean, what do I even have in my deck to hit? I haven't... Like, if I reanimate Atraxa, we're going to... Basically guarantee... Oh no, we are... Oh no, Brutalities are in the graveyard. Would hit Urtai. Oh, we'd hit Urtai. Oh, but they'd be able to... Right, but I don't think reanimating Fury is the game-winning play. I think I'm going to lead with Dothy. I'm debating if I want to reanimate still. I don't think it's super likely they're going to have a lot of burn. Going to 7 is probably okay. Still kind of like getting the Atraxa. 
Battle Ball doesn't kill next turn. Battle Sphere is better versus Lily, though, if I don't need to bow. Alright, I'm fine with get grabbing the ball. I think it's still good either way, though. Oh, nothing. The, the reason I like Battle Sphere here over Atraxa is that if they went minus two with Lily, I'd want to flash in the Bowmaster for a good sack. But this way, I can hold the Bowmaster to respond to their Bowmaster if they have it. What'd you give me? You gave me an Exhum! They gave me a backup chat! Thank you. No, what is this? The titty. Okay. So I think we're just going to trespass, eat their fury, and then probably get a Traxa or something. Actually, if I exhume Atraxa, I should be able to hit Urtai, and maybe that's just better. And let them have Fury? Oh wait, I can't exhume anymore. Dirt. I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Well, shoot, you know what? I probably eat my own Atraxa then. Because they have Animate Dead. Shoot, I shouldn't have bow mastered. That was a mistake. I thought I was going to be able to exhume. I could lose because of that, for sure. In fact, I died of some stuff here. Crap. I think I messed up. I think I messed up real bad. Oh? Am I dead? Wow. I died, chat. That does it. We lost to ourselves. In the sense that we gave them the reanimate target in game one or whatever. Oh, they missed it! Well, we're, we still can't win, but they missed lethal. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Shallow graves and everything else is gone, right? Yeah. I think we're on zero outs. No, wait, actually, that's not true. We could draw Urtai here. We could draw Urtai. Exactly Urtai. That's not Urtai. You suck a bubba. Dang it! Ah, well. Tough match. Tough match. We wouldn't have been second or first anyways. Alright, GG's. Good place to end it. At least that was a good deck. Good fun. Uh, so yeah, we will, do, we will be doing a bunch of Vintage Cube for the foreseeable future. Although I think I will be taking 